What's going on YouTube, just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building the Dodge Charger Hellcat from Fast and Furious 9. Now this is a requested build and this build was requested by Sol Brennestro, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly there my man, and he's asked could you try and make Dom's Dodge Charger Hellcat from F9. So here we are using the Dominator GTX and in my opinion this is going to be the best sort of vehicle that you can use, I know it's a bit of a mixture between a Charger and a Mustang. They're kind of like those two type of muscle vehicles fused together. But the front end is very similar, even though this is more like the Mustang. And the rear end is very, very close because I think the rear end of this car is supposed to be more like the Charger. But all in all, in my opinion, I think this is the closest type of vehicle that you're going to get in the game to try and replicate the F9 Hellcat. So without any further ado, my dudes, let's jump into the armor as always and purchase 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes. So then we're going to skip past the front bumpers straight to the engine. So then we get two options for engines. Obviously you get a brace bar and then you get the engine tunes. Brace bars don't really matter unless you're, you know, you're one of those people that goes to uh, car, car meets or whatever it is you do. Lift your hood and you show off your engine, you know, uh, whatever. So you can purchase a brace strut if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll just go with the GT one for now. But it's not essential. You don't need to purchase it. Then we're going to go to the engine tunes and we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Next we've got the exhausts, so there is loads of options for the exhausts and I think the stock ones are going to be the best ones. Even though these rally exhausts and all these centre exhausts look really really good, we need it to be over to the left hand side of the rear and like I said these central ones look really cool man. Uh, but then we go down to kind of a strange territory, I'm not sure what Rockstar were thinking when they put these exhausts as a customization option on this vehicle. It was very weird. It kind of looks like they belong on a motorcycle, not on the back of a muscle car. Mm, yeah, not for me. Uh, but anyway, we want to try and stay as true to this build as possible, so the stock exhausts are the one you want to stay with. Then we're going to go to the fenders. Now this Hellcat is a wide body and the best and closest thing we're going to get to a wide body are these. Not my type of thing. I, f I feel that they look mm, yeah, a bit meh on this. Um, mainly because they're not like going the whole way across the, the wheel arch there. It's really weird how it's kind of like just a, a partial um, wide body arch on there. It's really odd. And it doesn't really taper off or anything like that. It's sort of like just, yeah, it's just stuck on there. But the Hellcat from Fast 9 does have a wide body and wide body arches. Similar to these is what we're going to need. So we're going to grab those. So then we're going to skip past the grill and go into the hood. Now the Hellcat from F9 does have a really mean looking hood. And it is very similar to this bad boy, the vented hood scoop. So that's the one we're going to go for. Then we're going to go into the lights and purchase the Xeon headlights. So then we're going to skip past mudguard plate, rear panel, and then straight into the respray. Now the biggest disappointment about this build is the fact that we can't get double racing stripes the whole length of the car. We can't get them at all, not even a whole length. We just can't get racing stripes on this vehicle, which is really weird because it is a muscle car. Uh, it is kind of like half Mustang, half Charger. So it is really odd that Rockstar hasn't given us the option to have racing stripes on this vehicle. Uh, but that is what it is so that's the glaring issue with this build unfortunately um, the one thing we're not going to be able to do is the double racing stripes so then we are going to jump straight into the respray uh, we are going to get a metallic on this and it is going to be the metallic anthracite black and then you want to just go and purchase the same color for the secondary so the next category we're going to go into is the roof and you want to go and grab this stripped roof next we've got the side skirts and we're going to go and grab these extended skirts. The next option we've got is the spoiler. So from what I can see from the pictures is it does have a slight ducktail spoiler. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get some sort of ducktail spoiler. And surprisingly, we can't. That is shocking that we can't get a ducktail spoiler. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's not too bad because the rear of the car actually kind of looks like a ducktail spoiler anyway, if we look at it like this. Uh, but it's a shame we can't get a small extension onto that. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, the rear of the car kind of has that ductile spoiler look anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, so we're going to skip past the spoilers then. Suspension, we are going to go with... Um, we're not going to go competition. We'll go with the street suspension for this one. Transmission, we're going to get a race transmission and turbo tuner. So then that brings us nicely down to the wheels. So we're going to go into the wheel type and then we're going to go into the tuner category. And we're going to go and grab these chicane wheels. So the car in the movie does have star wheels, like this sort of pattern. A bit more of a deep dish, but they do have a thick sidewall tyre. So these actually suit it really, really good in my opinion. And once you purchase them, you do want to then just keep them uh, a carbon black. Once you're here, you might as well go and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you have it, my dudes. There is Dom's Dodge Charger Hellcat from F9, aka Fast and Furious 9. Thanks again to Saul for requesting this build. It is much appreciated. It is one of those vehicles that I wouldn't have really have thought of doing until the movie was released. But as he requested it, and this is Thursday, and it is a request build, I thought, what the hell, man? Let's do it. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this car is... Uh, kind of like a mashup of a Mustang and a Charger in my opinion. Um, it actually looks really, really cool. The front of it doesn't look that too far away from a Hellcat in my opinion as well. Um, the only downside, the only massive downfall to this car or this build is the fact that we can't get that double racing stripe. But other than that, everything else looks pretty much spot on. Yeah, so like I've already said, my dudes, this is Thursday. It is a request build. So if you guys do have any requests for any sort of build you want me to create in of GTA 5 then uh, drop me a comment down below and I'll uh, I'll see if I can get to it as soon as possible I do have a few requests back up backed up now uh, because of, you know a lot of you people a lot of you good people have been requesting builds that you want me to create in GTA for you I will get round to doing the majority of them we'll get that round to doing them as fast as possible but like you know I am only doing Thursdays at the moment and as you guys know, I did miss out last Thursday because it was my birthday. And uh, yeah, so I'm back this week, back at it with the request builds. So like I said, if you do have a request in mind, make sure you hit me in the comments. So with that being said, my dudes, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, I'm out. Adios.